Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. We're gonna talk about Stellar Blade and some updates on the extent of the censorship. It goes a lot further than uh, Hard R, I guess. Uh, apparently a lot of the costumes have been changed. I believe at the request of Sony, but uh, it is floating around now that the the director of Stellar Blade said that the final patched version uh, that makes all the changes to the outfits, that that is actually the intended version that was intended for release. But meanwhile, people have physical copies of this game and the outfits are intact. Again, I believe this is Sony. Sony has done this before. In fact, a lot of the uh, uh, changes to Eve's different costumes are very much in line with Square Enix's changes to Final Fantasy costumes from years ago. I mean, isn't it weird that Sony was more progressive in the 90s? <laughs> they were less uh, censor happy in the 1990s and early 2000s than they are today. And that's crazy. Nintendo's not as bad, but you know, all you gotta worry about with Nintendo is getting sued into oblivion. Uh, by them if you do something they don't like so let's uh let's talk about this before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys yeah so stellar blade uh there is a petition out there i think grums is running it it's 16 or 17 thousand names uh, hashtag a free stellar blade trying to politely ask shift up to give players the option of playing the original unaltered version of the game that they were promised. Remember, it was like, oh, there's not going to be any censorship in this game. But apparently, costumes have been changed. We know about the hard R situation. Some of the violence has been toned down. So yeah, they, they actually have changed it uh, quite a bit, again, from the physical release. And now, uh, some players are like, don't, don't let your game connect to the internet, because if you do, they're going to nerf it. Um, this is what happens when games are never done because there's always the possibility this is going to happen. This has come from uh, Bounding in the Comics. Uh, Stellar Blade director responds after Patch Sensor's holiday rabbit outfit claims updated design was always intended as the final version. The holiday rabbit outfit, right? The director said that uh, he claimed that he had always intended for the updated, less risque version of the costume to be its final design. So this is what uh, players thought they were going to get, or this is what it was, I guess, in the uh, physical disc. On disc release, the original version of the Honey Rabbit outfit provided Eve with a hooded leotard featuring a bunny tail pom-pom on its back and a plunging cleavage-heavy neckline on its front. Then after the uh, update, day one patch, the same one that censored the hard R graffiti graphic, Players soon found that rather than appearing as it did originally, the honey rabbit now covers up Eve's chest with a lacy undershirt and extends outward toward the bottom in order to cover up the amount of skin shown around her uh, thighs. Yep, you can see that. And they put glasses on her too. Unsurprisingly, upon its discovery, this bit of stealth censorship prompted outrage from excited players, many of them feeling particularly betrayed given Shift Up's previous promise that the game would release uncensored. To this end, one fan sought to take the issue directly to Kim, the other director himself, per a translated video. Translated video, guys. Now, I, I believe Grum said that it was mistranslated. I think he knows him somewhat. I, I don't know. But whatever the reason is, when you make a big deal about promising gamers that the game is going to be uncensored and then you patch it and you don't just censor the hard R, which was stupid anyway, because that was just an accidental uh, juxtaposition of graffiti with the letter R on the sign. But you also change a bunch of the costumes. And I think it's, it's not just this one. I think multiple costumes have been changed. Uh, during an April 26th launch event for the highly anticipated action title, Kim was asked by an attendee if there had been any thinking of rolling back the version to the previous one before the censorship. Uh, this is what apparently he said. Understandably, we also recognize this issue. However, the final costume we wanted to show you is indeed the costume in the updated version. 
I want to clarify that's our final product, he added. However, I know this answer is not enough to convince our users. There is an internal discussion ongoing regarding this, so I think we'll have a chance to answer it soon. Now, whether or not that has anything to do with the uh, petition to change the game back to how it was, I have no idea. As noted above, while the patch version of the game censors the Honey Rabbit outfit, players can still access the original costume by playing the physical release and declining to update it. Yeah. So this is uh, Yogencha. Yogencha? Yogencha? On Twitter. Screenshot from my disc at 1.0 just to confirm it. This is the costume. The console will force update if you're connected to the internet. I recommend installing it offline, checking the version, and then going online to pause the update. The console will not try or stop trying even if you delete it. Wow. Uh, Elvik says, I'd actually say to stay offline entirely as the game will shift to not letting you play without updating it. Uh, I don't know the cause of this. Disabling auto updates on games doesn't seem to do anything. It will always try. Everything is online always. Everything updates always. My, the most annoying thing for me is Windows. Uh, every time it updates, it wants to put everything into like green mode, right? And I'm like, why is my computer running like shit? Oh, it's on energy saver mode. Well, I turn that off. Well, it doesn't matter. There's an update and it turned it back on. Uh, I'm like, what the hell? I, I'm perfectly fine with killing the environment if I can if I can render videos faster, if I can do more with Photoshop, but you know, whatever, what do I know? Uh, Stellar J says, don't you care about NG plus 12 new skills, faster movement and better performance and 30 plus new outfits? I do, but I own the digital for that. The save is shared. I can always switch, man. Look at you smartly spending your money. Honestly, Sony should make more horny games without censorship. They'd probably be swimming in more cash than they are now. Yeah, it is weird. That we live in a world where Nintendo, which used to be the most sensor happy game company out there, is letting developers release games relatively intact, right? Compared to Sony. I mean, Sony, if you look at the Final Fantasy games recently, now I don't know if this is Sony or Square. I am inclined to think it's probably Sony putting pressure on Square, but Square also has an office in California. But look at, look at how they have changed characters from 30-year-old games. You know, Renoa now is like, she's well covered up. Now, granted, you really can't see much because she was pixelated, but like, seriously. And um, Siren, they had to cover her up. They had to give her a wing skirt because it looked like she had... Uh, I guess a feather muff is, is that what's going on? She had a feather muff before. Maybe it's because the, uh, the graphical quality wasn't very good, but there are lots of instances of, you know, even recently Final Fantasy characters being covered up more. And it's always the same thing. It's always the undershirt. We always put an undershirt and then we try to justify why, why do you have the undershirt? Oh, because in real life, she would be wearing an undershirt because she'd bounce all over the place. Maybe that's true. This isn't real life. It's a video game, right? Again, maybe it's a little concerning for some people that uh, Tifa, when she was younger, had uh, her saucy cowboy outfit on. And it didn't really offend too much in, uh, in the 90s. But now, because you know she looks photorealistic, we got to change it. But no, I think this is Sony. I 100% I think this is Sony. And this is the same thing, too. They went back and changed uh, Tifa, the original remake, right? They went back and they changed her in that. So your games are never final as long as they're connected to the internet because they're always going to update. Like, what the heck? Wait, is this real or not real? I can't imagine that's real. I can't imagine that's real, but yeah. So, I mean, I, I a hundred percent believe that this is, this is Sony putting pressure on them. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, numerous reports are, are flooding in regarding the further censorship of even more outfits. As of this writing, many of these remain unconfirmed. Um, yeah. So there are more, this is uh, again, Grums here, uncensored cybernetic bondage censored. 
So what's different? Oh, we, we covered up a little patch of cleavage. And people are like, well, it's not that big of a deal. All right, this is the holiday rabbit. It's not really that big of a deal. It's just a little piece of fabric. But I think it's the principle of the thing for a lot of people that they promised gamers an uncensored game. And on day one, they're already censoring the game. So it was absolutely positively a bait and switch. You know, it was. And I think gamers in this case, regardless of how you feel about the changes, the fact that they promised an uncensored game and patched it on day one to censor the shit out of it, I think it was a bait and switch. So this is uh, Grums again. Stellar Blade director reiterates the changes were intentional. This was posted yesterday. In the same interview, he also talks about how they will be responsive. Let's see how the petition goes. Um, people were pissed. They're like, he can reiterate all he wants. You don't go to the trouble of creating these outfits, put them up on the physical disc, ship them out only to change them a few days before the game launch. Yeah, that's, that's just it. Multiple things changed, patched on day one, probably via feedback from gaming journos. They're the ones who found the hard R, right, in the uh, early copies. And they're probably complaining. Sony's, uh, uh, I guess, sensor czars or whoever the hell they have over there are probably finding things to nitpick. The best middle ground would be extra styles that restore the original look for the costumes, unlockable new game plus, or challenges or something, give the fans what they want. Shouldn't have to be a new game plus. Again, it's not even that they they did it so much as they made such a big deal about the fact they weren't going to do it and then they did it. If they just did it and people would be like, oh man, the game came out and they nerfed a couple of whatever. But this keeps happening. Even to years old games, they just suddenly update the game and guess what? Tifa's got, she's got a different outfit on. And again, it doesn't seem like a big deal on the surface, but they're going to keep creeping up and up and up and up on you. Just kind of like the ridiculous changes on Disney Plus. Like these are supposed to be like archival versions of these movies for posterity. And they're, they're changing Lilo and Stitch. They're changing Splash. I mean, everything is current year. Everything exists in a perpetual state of now. Whatever is offensive now. You buy a game today, you enjoy that game. Five years from now, you want to play that game again. You have no guarantee the game is going to be the same. They might go through, they might completely rewrite the translation. For all we know, they could rewrite the translation in a patch, in an update. On a five-year-old game just because it's offensive now to somebody. That's the problem with these games shipping when they're not done. They're never done. None of these games are done. And most people aren't going to know to not update them. Or you won't be able to play the game maybe if it doesn't update or whatever the deal is. But, I mean, it was so much easier when we had a disc. And whatever was on the disc was the game. That was the game that shipped. And now it's like, the, again, these games are never done. They're never done. This person says, yeah, I don't believe him. He shows outfits in the trailers for years only to update them to his true intent two weeks before launch behind closed doors with the universal constant being that they've had lazily applied extra coverings across the board. I call BS. Uh, this was the same event as the last statement, not a new one. He's covering for Sony. Yeah, that's why I think it is. I think it's Sony 100%. He's covering for Sony because they have him by the throat. I'll wait and see what this buildup pressure results in before I give up and return the game. Yep, he's being forced to lie. Yeah, that's 100% what I think is going on. Uh, how long until this one's changed? This is the uh, the final reward, the black pearl nano suit. You know, maybe she'll be wearing a shawl or something, a big hat. You know, got to cover up some gloves. You know, who knows? You don't know. What if you collect 49 cans and she doesn't look like this? I'm, I'm just saying. Somebody actually said that. This guy, Pac-Man here, said the final outfit you get for collecting all soda cans looks good. I want to get it, but by the time I collect all 49 cans, the black pearl nano suit will most likely be censored. So I'm not even going to try no more, especially after this whole censoring of Stellar Blade. Again, you... <laughs> this, I mean, you want to talk about gamers being uh, doom and gloom, black pill, whatever you want to, however you want to spin it, say it. 
this game was built up to be a big middle finger to censorship into current year politics and to current year AAA sensibilities. And now it's become another hot potato, just like Hogwarts Legacy. And apparently you can't even talk about the, I guess you can't even talk about it on the subreddit that there's a petition going on to change things back. Grums is actually getting like death threats on Twitter. Some, some idiot, and I'm sure it was a joke, but like, you can't make that j- joke publicly. <laughs> it's like, but some guy was, uh, said he would give $20,000 to somebody that could take out Grums. Ha ha ha. Isn't that funny? Trust me. If they had the $20,000 and they knew they could get away with it, they probably would over a fucking video game. I, I'm not even kidding. These people are mental. Uh, there are a lot of people that are really mental about this. But yeah, gamers are like, yeah, we thought uh, you were the chosen one. We thought that this game was going to be different than all the other crap that gets censored. And uh, I can't wait until they give her her jeggings. All of her outfits have jeggings. And they flatten her ass because uh, some, <laughs> you know, some consultants came in and said her ass makes us feel very uncomfortable and uh, very uh, uh, unfeminine. Uh, she needs to have a flat, a big, fat, flat ass, I guess. Can you have a fat, flat ass? I've seen people with flat, fat asses. She needs to have a big, flat, fat ass. So I don't feel bad about myself. We need to give her some bags under her eyes, maybe some facial hair. Why Why does Eve have to look like this? Why can't I have Eve look like I do? Why can't she be dumpy and frumpy? Because no real woman looks like this, right? That's what they're saying. So I don't know, guys. I think you just you just nuked that bridge. Like they were given, they were uh, giving you a chance. Gamers were giving you a chance, and uh, you've already proved on day one that at least Sony can't be trusted. Now, I believe at some point this is coming to PC. It's coming to Steam. I think. Uh, I think it's got an exclusivity window. I I don't know. But when it does, it'll be interesting to see if the version the PC version, if there is a PC version, if it has the original outfits intact, if it has the hard R or not, and then we'll know for sure it's Sony. It's totally Sony. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.